Hello poetry lovers and poetry curious. I am back with more from the Vintage Book of Contemporary American Poetry. I'm kind of getting, it looks like I'm about two-thirds from the selection of poems that I'm going to read. From, well, I'm two-thirds of the way through the book. Three-quarters, something like that. Um, so there may not be too many more that I read to you, but in any case, today I'm going to read you a poem by C.K. Williams, and that is how he's generally known, C. Period K. Period Williams, but his name, should you be looking him up, actually if I were looking him up, I would do C.K. Space Williams Poet, is how I would search for him online. But his name is Charles Kenneth Williams. And I would expect to see Wikipedia having him included. Um, and he did win a Pulitzer. And so I would expect that he would have some kind of entry. And pretty much always, any that I've seen, if you scroll down, it'll have a list of publications if the person is a poet. And also, um, certainly, the Poetry Foundation will also have him and a sample of his work. I'm going to read to you, It Is This Way With Men. They are pounded into the earth like nails. Move an inch, they are driven down again. The earth is sore with them. It is a spiny fruit that has lost hope of being raised and eaten. It can only ripen and ripen. And men, they too are wounded. They too are sifted from their loss and are without hope. The core softens. The pure flesh softens and melts. There are thorns. There are the dark seeds. And they end. I didn't realize it was that short. <laughs> it went a little longer. I want to read it again. It ends rather bleakly with the word end. It is this way with men. That's the title. They are pounded into the earth like nails. Move an inch, they are driven down again. The earth is sore with them. It is a spiny fruit that has lost hope of being raised and eaten. It can only ripen and ripen. And men, they too are wounded. They too are sifted from their loss and are without hope. The core softens. The pure flesh softens and melts. There are thorns, there are the dark seeds, and they end. So now I have to ask myself, this being such a short poem, it's very bleak. But should I add it to my poems that I'm memorizing? I don't know, because I don't know. I don't know. I've got, there's um, the Keats poem that I've memorized, which is this living hand, and that's kind of creepy, bleak. But it is something that I thought about in my memorization project, whether I want to memorize things that, are particularly dark and bleak. But I'm, I'm going to consider this, and part of the reason I'm going to consider it is because it is from a respected poet of the 20th century, C.K. Williams, um, and I'm not necessarily um, focusing on the 20th century. In fact, it's been hard for me to find representative poems of the 20th century that are short enough for me to memorize. <laughs> but uh, also another factor is that so you know it's a nod to C.K. Williams as an important poet of the 20th century, somebody who I don't know if he just had one um, Pulitzer or more than one. Well, he did the National Book Critics Circle Awards, and then the Pulitzer. I guess those are his two prizes. But anyway, um, I, 
don't particularly like his poetry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go out of my way to read C.K. Williams. Um, you can see his other poems in here are quite long and wordy. They're not as succinct as this. And uh, so that's a question in my mind. I would not exclude him from the memorization project just because I don't like all of his poetry. That's very true of, um, I had, I think the last poet that I read from this was Mark Strand, Keeping Things Whole. I love the poem Keeping Things Whole. That doesn't mean that I love Mark Strand um, or all of his poetry. I, you know, sometimes I like Mark Strand's poems and sometimes I, you know, they leave me flat, you know, it's like whatever, that's, and that's kind of par for the course. Um, yeah, so that's something I need to think about. But I don't know why I included you on that thinking, <laughs> but there it is. I'm calling it done. That was C.K. Williams. It is this way with men. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.